Warning, some viewers may find the following scenes disturbing. Please watch at your own discretion. Nguyen Kang looks after her eight-year-old granddaughter. Ching cannot speak, cannot walk, cannot understand what she's told. The young Vietnamese girl probably has cerebral palsy, but her family can't afford the diagnostic tests to know for sure. There are many other children like Ching in Vietnam, born with debilitating abnormalities. Vietnamese health officials point to Agent Orange, the potent chemical used by the US military during the war. <coughs> Ching lives in a village northeast of Hanoi with her extended family, including her grandfather Nguyen Mang Ma. A special forces soldier during the war more than 30 years ago, Ma, like thousands of other veterans, was exposed to Agent Orange. The Vietnamese government pays the family $10 a month as acknowledgement that Ching's handicaps may have been caused by Agent Orange. When I first saw the spray, I thought there was mist or fog. I could see the sun set, so I knew it could be mist. I was told that it could be, but toxic chemicals. U.S. military planes sprayed at least 11 million gallons of defoliant over Vietnam during the war. The chemicals in Agent Orange stripped the jungle cover so North Vietnamese army units and Viet Cong guerrillas could be seen and attacked from the air. The chemical cocktail included the carcinogen dioxin. At the time, we didn't know the chemicals were toxic and could cause health problems. But when we saw with our own eyes the leaves falling from the trees within two hours, and then all the trees falling down, we knew it was bad. Many believe the deadly toxins continue to poison. Vietnamese health officials say mutant effects are now being seen in the second generation of children born since the war. These unfortunate children, abandoned by their parents, are living out their lives in Tu Zhu Hospital in Ho Chi Minh City. <laughs> Vietnam war veteran Tho Tien Qua looks proudly at three generations of his family in their living room northeast of Hanoi. Qua believes his son and grandson are now bearing the consequences of his wartime effort. Four years ago, his grandson Nam was born with a serious handicap. Qua was on patrol in the demilitarized zone one day in 1968 when he was sprayed with Agent Orange. The chemical got its nickname from the orange strip on the barrels. After Agent Orange was found to cause cancer in laboratory rats, the US military suspended its use in 1970 and halted all herbicide spraying in Vietnam the following year. Qua says he saw the plane spraying from 8 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon, day after day. When Qua San Huat was born with deformed feet, family and friends thought it was a form of divine justice. The father had killed people during the war, and this was the spirit's retribution. But when Huat's son Nam was born, the family made the connection with Agent Orange. This is the legacy of war. I knew that if it wasn't my family that was affected in this way, it would be another family. I knew there would be many cases. This is what we got for serving our country. We were very unfortunate. 
cái, this is why we need the government support. Chứ cứ để đâu thì các ông mày các anh em đồng đội tôi còn khổ hơn nhiều. Khoa would like the US government to pay compensation to his family, but Washington has refused to accept any link between Agent Orange and Vietnam's handicapped. Central Vietnam's Bac Ma National Park is one of only three remaining pockets of primal forest in the country. Before the war, much of Vietnam looked like this. This is how much of it looks today. Millions of acres of forest have been destroyed by Agent Orange. Its most dangerous ingredient, dioxin, remains in the environment for decades. 15-year-old Luke is almost certainly one of its victims. Vietnam's villages are filled with children like him. I think you are a super ranger. Sewell Jones is a GI who fought in Vietnam. This is Agent Orange. He feels it's his duty to help the country's suffering children. We had the village up in Hanoi. Everywhere you look right here, I was here. I got shot right here. It's my responsibility as a soldier and as a human being to give something back to these children. I feel very strongly about this. Now, I think you talk to a lot of other GIs, you'll find the same things. They feel strongly too. That we've got to help them. Okay? <laughs> and I wish I could help you, but I don't know what to do, you know? You're just a hero, that's all. Friendship Village, just north of Hanoi. It's a temporary home for many Vietnamese veterans too sick to look after themselves. There are also dozens of children born with disabilities who live or go to school in the village. American veterans helped raise the money to build the center. Sewell Jones now raises a toast with former foes. It's Tet, or New Year, and the party is to thank the staff and parents of the village for their past year's work. Despite the laughter now, it's a difficult job, requiring reserves of patience and kindness to teach and care for disabled children and adults. Everyone from cleaners to the director is included in the feast, which is washed down with plum wine. Away from the celebrations, five handicapped children are keeping one another company. Their 74 classmates have returned home for the holidays, but these five have nowhere else to go. Gam is a deaf mute. Her mother was exposed to Agent Orange. Kwong was born with a hole in her throat. Her father died of leukemia. Cam's father died of liver cancer. The eight-year-old appears bright, but he can't pass the first grade. According to Vietnamese government estimates, there are at least one million victims of Agent Orange, ranging from veterans who are directly doused to people living in affected areas and their sons and daughters. 15-year-old Quen is drawing from her own experience, a soldier without an arm, a blind child, and a mother in tears. She says she'll never fulfill her dream of becoming a painter. I'm not a normal child, and it's because of the war. I do hope that in the future we can live in peace, and that there is no war, war, so there won't be any more disabled children like me. The village's director says the Vietnam War is still a sensitive issue for the U.S. government. The U.S. government doesn't want to accept or recognize the victims of Agent Orange in Vietnam because it's afraid it will have to pay compensation to the Vietnamese people. Compensation would run into billions. Although the U.S. government refuses to blame Agent Orange, there is one disturbing case which may convince skeptics. During the war, a major toxic spill occurred behind the walls of this base used by U.S. planes spraying the chemical. 7,000 gallons leaked into the local water system. At Bien Qua Lake, dioxin poison persists today. Recent tests found 95% of people sampled had high levels of dioxin in their blood. But harvesting continues, even though independent scientists have labeled it a dioxin reservoir. US and Vietnamese officials are discussing the problem in March. It's the first time the two countries have worked together to understand the effects of Agent Orange on the environment and people. But although the conference is a major step, 
Compensation for suspected victims of Agent Orange is not on the agenda. Very sad scenes there from the aftermath of the Vietnam War. I'm not going to ask you to like this video. Give it a huge thumbs down, leave a comment, click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to tell your friends about Dead Farang on YouTube. And remember, bar girls can't eat love. This has been another Dead Farang production.